Hello to our residents, businesses, first responders, visitors, and everyone in between. I'm your Rockland County Executive, Ed Day. And before we embark on 2024, I want to reflect on the incredibly challenging yet accomplished year we had in county government in 2023. Former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell once said, there are no secrets to success. It is a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. That quote speaks volumes about how far we've come. When I was first elected as your county executive in 2014, we were the most fiscally stressed county in all of New York with a $138 million deficit. Our hard work brought Rockland back to life from the brink of bankruptcy. And when I say we, I'm referring to the dedicated employees in this administration who rebuilt Rockland from the rock bottom, along with our county legislature. To all our employees, I want you to know how much I value your dedication and commitment to our mission of serving the people of this county. And I also want to thank the people of this county for their support and belief in me. We've literally transformed this county from worst to first among the New York's seven fiscally strongest counties out of 57 and New York City, with a rainy day surplus shielding us from crisis. This has given us the opportunity to do the following. Cut county property taxes by 2% on the heels of two years in a row of no county property tax increases. This is a far cry from the annual double digit tax increases I inherited. Held the county's first ever housing forum, aimed to help our colleagues in local government figure out ways to tackle Rockland's housing crisis. Continue to waive our bus fare for riders since the pandemic to alleviate more costs for families that we know are struggling in this economic climate. Finalized three open space purchases, preserving 25 acres from, from development. Initiated a new safety program equipping school buses with stop-on cameras that will stop through heavy fines people from risking our children's lives by passing a school bus launched a brand new website enhancing our services and communications to residents. We also celebrated our brand new green highway facility built with recycled materials, including passive solar, which will increase the life expectancy of our vehicles by 20%, saving taxpayer money. Let's not forget, we also stopped the city of New York from saddling its sanctuary city declaration and duties on the county of Rockland. We were the first county to learn about Mayor Eric Adams' secret decompression strategy to turn hotels and motels statewide into city-run shelters. We came out swinging and teamed up with the town of Orangetown, who sued the hotel as we sued the city, both for violating existing laws. Thanks to our swift action, that plan was stopped in its tracks. As we embark on 2024, I want to thank our hardworking employees for everything they've done and continue to do for the residents we serve. And I'd like to thank our residents for believing in me and giving me the opportunity to turn this county around. I promise to continue leaving no stone unturned and to do the best that I can for all of you as we have for 10 years and counting.